Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we will be creating color changing stickers for good notes. And here you can see a sample of what we are going to do. These stickers are a little bit transparent. I will show you the way how to make them not transparent, but I personally like when they are like that, especially if you're using them on a note paper with a specific design, for example, like here, a grid design. And these stickers can change their color like that. You can choose your custom color and create a sticker that you like. And the method I'm showing here can be applied to different styles of stickers. And this style is a little bit cartoony and hand-drawn, but you can use different types of overlays to create color-changing stickers. So, if you want to create color-changing stickers, you will need good notes and Procreate. And the first step is creating a new notebook. Let's use landscape. Great, so here we have our canvas and what we are going to do is use shapes and choose a color you like. For example, let's choose this orange color and let's draw rectangle shape and click back to delete this border. And Good Notes gives you this option of creating shapes, but unfortunately all of them are transparent. And if you like that effect, great. But if you don't, you can simply copy and then paste the shape you've created and overlay them. Sometimes it can be hard placing them accurately on top of each other. That is why I recommend using a dark color because it is easier to see. So let's... Oh my god, sorry. Let's repeat that, color it and then copy and paste. And now it is much easier to see. Yeah, kind of like that. After that, I copy two shapes and I paste them over the first two shapes. And if you want to be precise, you can zoom in and paste them over like that. But I personally like this shadow effect that this method creates. And I usually do four layers. And let's see how it colors. You can see that it is a little bit lighter than the color I'm using. So if you want to achieve a perfect match between the color you choose and the color of the shape, you can keep going, copying and pasting. And the more you do it, the more accurate the color will be. So for example, here you can see the color is more accurate. So now we have this base and let's copy it again and go to Procreate. And here you need to create a canvas that is approximately the same dimensions as the shape you've created. But it's quite easy to do, you can just create a screen size, for example, let's do that. And paste our shape. It's great that you can paste from Good Notes into Procreate and vice versa. And after that, we can resize it. And if you want to change canvas size, you can just 
go to crop and resize and crop it a little bit and now it's my favorite part you need to create a new layer an empty layer choose a brush you like for example i will be using this simple line and let's choose a color i usually use black or white because they go with almost every color of your sticker and we need to outline our sticker oh my god this is huge okay let's make it a little bit smaller and uh, sometimes it's great to have this wiggly line like that but if you want it to make a little bit more stabilized you can use this stabilization and streamline now you can see it's woo, looking good let's make it like 50% and the next thing I usually like turning on drawing guide because it helps me with drawing straight lines and for this specific design it is okay to have wiggly lines because it is cartoonish if you want to make perfect lines you can always use 100% streamline and it will be looking much better let's add these notepapery things and I don't know it looks like a four-year-old drew this but who cares I like it and let's add this shadow underneath and we can fill it up with black and here we have it our sticker what do we do now we choose layers click on our layer with black design we click copy then we return to good notes we choose lasso tool we tap and click paste now we resize it so it fits our shape and in good notes if you have a shape that you created that you can color and you place something over it you can still change the color of the shape so you can see that we can choose different colors for our sticker great let's create a note paper and of course you can use different png overlays Maybe something you've created in Illustrator, for example, and they will be looking much cleaner and nicer. But I personally like these childish, wiggly designs. And let's make another sticker. And you can see here I tried to match everything. And here we have this shadowy effect. Okay, let's copy it. And sometimes I like creating different canvases for different shapes, so it is easier for me. Okay, let's choose square, add, paste. And if you don't want to resize it, the overlay after pasting it into GoodNotes, you can just paste and crop the canvas. So it is the same size as the original shape. Let's make our line a little bit more straight. And let's hold it a little bit. And we have straight lines. Great. 
I don't personally like this kind of design, so let's make it wiggly. And let's add this sticker. And let's color in black. Let's copy it and paste over our sticker. And this is how you can create color changing stickers. And in the description below you can find a link to free stickers that I've created. And they are a little bit transparent, please keep that in mind. And you can change the color to anything you like. And it has these cute stickers, washi tapes, and line stickers. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have some questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!